said, there's something worse than being single. And that's being married to the wrong person. It can be a practical hell. Cause of tears, cause of sorrow, cause of regrets. Sister, take your time. Sometimes some young ladies come and say, oh, praise God. Mommy, I found somebody. God is answering our prayer. So I say, hey, who is the person? Say, hey, he works in X, Y, Z. Hey, he has two cars. He, he has a good house. He's living, it's around me, Tama extension. <laughs> hey, and um, he's from my area. He's from like my tribe. Then... You ask him, and so he's born again, right? Where does he worship? Um, he's um, born again, Sha. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he's coming up. He's coming up in the Lord. In fact, I invited him to church. He has been coming to Dunamis for a while now, and he really likes that he's preaching. <laughs> <laughs> When you see that kind of answer, you know that the man is not born again. Sister, don't jeopardize your life. A man that has no fear for God will have no fear for anybody. A man that does not reverence the Almighty, I'm afraid that God, I'm afraid, that is, I reverence God. I, I wouldn't want to do this so that God is not displeased, etc., etc. You know, that kind of person will also have regard for you. Have regard for your father. Have regard for your mother. If he wants to misbehave, have regard for his own mother. Or have regard for his own father. His mother can say, hey, son, don't do like this. Or your mother can say, please, I didn't burn my daughter for you to treat like this. He would hear them small. But a man that has no fear for God cannot be bothered. If he doesn't fear the Almighty, who are you? May you not enter wrong hands in the name of Jesus. And then some say, eh, I'm praying for him, oh, and I've been preaching to him, oh, and he's trying small, small. And I used to say, well done, Holy Spirit. Except you are now the Holy Spirit. Who is the one that convicts of sin? It's not in your hand to do that. And young men, please let me drop that too. Don't marry who is not with the fear of the Lord. My husband used to give an illustration years ago. I'm sure he doesn't remember. In the university, where he's preaching. Uncle, please, can you climb on top of this thing? I wish it was more visible. Come. Come somewhere here. You can move back. You stand here. Then, yeah, you can hold his hand there. Come, you are going to walk this way. You are going, hold, hold, wait. You are him. Assuming this is a born again, firebrand Christian. At this level in spirituality. And decides he's going to marry, you are not a woman. You are a man. Decides he's going to marry this sister. Lukewarm, nominal, believe, like Christian. Hold hands and go, go all the way back because I need space for you to walk. And they decide to start walking on the journey of marriage, becoming. Start pulling him down. Pull him now. As he's pulling you, you try to pull him up. Who, who, who would be easier to come to whose level? The man that is pulling, the woman or man, it could be other way, the either way around, that is pulling this person that is up, is likely to bring him down to his level. Do you understand me? It's far easier. It's far easier. Don't be up here spiritually as a man and go for a woman that has no relationship with God. She will pull you down. Or the other way around, he will pull you down. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. 